Hi guys and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today we are going to assemble a laser cutting and engraving machine from Nege. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's first start uh, with the unboxing of the device. Okay guys, here we are ready now to assemble everything. Before to do that, let's uh, see what was in this package. There were multiple things. So basically there was a data cord, three zip ties, a marker, a brush. I believe these are just testing material. I see some acrylic. I'm not sure this looks like cartoon or wood. A metal strip and piece of wood. And then some uh, Allen keys small wrench, some uh, X nut, L brackets, and that's pretty much all. All right, so let's begin to assemble. Okay, so the first thing to do is to connect the two axes. So this is the first. I need to clean it up a little bit. It's a little bit dirty. Okay. And it seems like um, this connector, it's connecting over here. Let's see how we can get that done. And um, to see exactly, so that's guiding me to turn this all the way around. So I will simply turn this around. And now I'm able to basically get these things closer. Oh. That's not easy. That's not easy. Let's see again. Okay, I think I made it. Now we can just leave this on the side, and there we go. Okay. So we can put on top, I see that uh, there are no uh, washers, uh, but at the same time there, there won't be enough clearance for a washer, so I'll leave it without. Let's tighten it up. Doesn't need much. A soft material so you have to handle it very carefully you don't want to break that all right and it seems already going quite smooth this cable from the primary axis will basically connect to the stepper motor of the secondary axis okay so let's now install the uh, laser module. I already opened it up. This is a 30 watt laser module. So this should be able basically to cut through a uh, five millimeter of uh, play wood, which is very good. Uh, so we will first need to loosen it up, loosen up this uh, clamp using the uh, biggest Allen key. Let's see if we are all right. That seems we'll need to understand exactly how far we have to go, but this we will experience it once we install the software and we will try 
cutting through something or engraving something. Ble break the acrylic. Okay, and the final step is to connect the cable over here. All right, what's left to do now is to connect the power supply. So both power supply and data are on this side. So, okay guys, so the machine is ready. It was very simple, really few components to assemble. So what is left to do now is to power it up, install the software in our, in our computer, and let's try to print or to cut something. Okay guys, here we are on my desktop. Before to be able to work with the laser engraver and cutting machine, we have to go to, to their website, this uh, wiki.nestool.com. I'll put the link in the description below. That's anyway the link that you will find in their user manual. Uh, let's uh, go to our model. In this case, we assembled the two, Master 2 to S plus and there we go this is the room the page we can scroll down to Windows software in my case I'm going to install on a Windows machine and let's go let's try to install the final version okay our antivirus will basically warn us but you know these are these are uh, Chinese manufacturers that they're not even trying to to pay for an HTTPS uh, browser anyway yeah we can visit anyway we can download give a save and we can open it when it's downloaded okay now we can connect the device okay guys so let's connect the cable and let's see what happens Then let's power up the device. There we go. Let's now try to see, connect. No device. Well, the device is definitely on. There is a cute little blue laser no device found we need to install the driver okay this is taking us back to the driver page let's try to install let's open it up straight away and let's see. Yes. Let's allow the installation. Install everything. So we've installed successfully. And I believe that we are now, let's see, yes, uh, so we are currently online, device is starting, please wait, so we'll need to wait, now I believe it's just trying to find its uh, hand stroke, there are micro switches which are defining the hand of the guides, Alright guys, so uh, when you launch the software for the first time, the software opens up in the control page. That's basically where you control uh, the machine. Now, to start, uh, we could go over to the tutorial tab. Here you can uh, uh, select your machine. These are, I believe, all the models from Niger. And you can follow the instruction. For example, we can select Master 2S Plus, which is the model I got. And I could also select the language, but I will stick to English. 
and here you have all sort of instructions from uh, software installation preparation and so on and so forth i'll recommend you to to read through that especially uh, when it comes to the actual laser and i mean uh, working with the with the laser itself because it will uh, explain you some stuff about focusing and uh, uh, what you have to do to you know to cut or engrave um, if we go to the second tab we have a photo gallery this is basically a large collection of drawings and pictures that we could uh, um, engrave or pr or cut and the list is very big uh, very big actually uh, the only downside of the software is that the software is actually primitive and really it is not flexible. I have no way to search, to either sort, filter, group. I can do nothing with this gallery. All I can do is to go up and down through these two buttons, which eventually once they are outlined in blue, that means they are activated, you could iterate with your enter key. Now I will go through uh, looking for something to print so that you can also see uh, how many and what type of drawings are included in the photo gallery. Alright guys, so once you find the image that you like, I would suggest you to add it to your favorite so you don't have to search for it again. Then you can double click on it and uh, well it prompts you just to give OK. Uh, what I found strange in the software that there is a not uh, a choice for engraving or cutting. That will all depend on the power and burning settings that you will uh, give later on. So for now let's give OK. Uh, in this window you will be able to uh, change the size of the object here set sizes okay uh, then here you can select what kind of drawing you would like so I would like to have this drawing since I'm going for engrave uh, here you have some additional controls like flip rotate reverse you can also add some custom uh, text and this actually work only for uh, uh, images where there is text so in this case if I'm going to write anything nothing will happen actually then say OK now a very important thing uh, by default the software is, is placing the drawings or images at the center of the working area which is uh, the area outlined by the red border uh, if we want to see exactly where the laser is going to operate and that will help us actually to uh, to align our object beforehand we can click over to this button and this will basically show us where exactly the engraving cutting area is going to be so it will basically outline going around uh, we could use these arrows to move the object up and down left and right or alternatively if we don't if we don't want to have a precise movement because here we can set how precise we want to be the movement we can actually drag and put it wherever we want so i'm going to stick to the top left corner and then i'm going to give stop so once i'm ready and i'm happy with it i can uh, I need to ensure that the object is placed correctly. 
I need to ensure one more thing and that's uh, depending on the height or thickness of uh, uh, the object I would rather refer to height because uh, basically the laser will have to need, will have to be focused the beam of light of the laser basically that goes down will have to be focused uh, otherwise you are not going to obtain anything also uh, this will uh, uh, impact whether you are going to cut or engrave and a quick way to do the adjustment for small variation is to use the focusing dial which uh, in my case it's very hard it's uh, not very easy to move the other way is uh, to loosen up the clamp which is holding the entire laser module and then to move it up and down and the instructions are saying that uh, by default uh, you shouldn't you should keep the laser module between uh, uh, 30 and 50 millimeter from the surface okay here uh, we can set up the power laser power and then burning time uh, what I find out is the for engraving on wood 40% uh, laser power and 4 millisecond of uh, burning time it's good enough for this kind of uh, drawings uh, like this but you will need to experience a little bit uh, uh, depending on the material and the thickness and how deep you want to go and whether you want to cut how to actually set up uh, power and burning time all right guys once we are happy with everything you can just give the play button now this will show you once again the outline after that uh, you will basically see the drawing here which if you zoom in uh, there we go you will basically see that easy easy so the drawing is grayed out easy easy it's coming up and also you have a progress bar over here all right so let's now see it in action so we should now be ready with it now be very careful when you are uh, dealing with lasers you always want to use some uh, protective glasses I think the camera will not be able to to see through it but we definitely need to wear protective glasses Alright guys, we finally reached the end of this quite long video, but we should now be all set to go. In the next videos, I'll be showing you how to set up your smartphone so that you can do everything through your smartphone and also how you can make your own custom uh, drawings and to, and to print, let's say. Print. Alright, I hope you liked the video, click the thumb up button below and if you have any comment, leave them below. If you want to see other videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. Ciao for now.